hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to see how we can flash the micropython firmware inside our shao esp32 c3 board okay this board is manufactured by seed studio and the model we call shao esp32 c3 okay so we want to flash this board with micropython firmware so we can use this board with our micropython programming okay so first of all we need to install python in our system so we can use esp tool to flash this board okay so if i open my command prompt here and if i type python then you can see i am able to open the interpreter of python so let me exit from this one okay now we need to install esp tool in our system okay so to install the esp tool we have to use this command so let me copy this command and i'm going to paste this command here okay so as you can see here requirement is already satisfied so in my system esp tool is already installed so that is why i'm getting this message that requirement already satisfied okay now if you want to test the esp tool is installed or not you can use this command okay so once you type this command in command prompt and if you hit enter you will see multiple options and multiple information so it means that esp tool is successfully installed in your system along with python so let me clear my screen now we have to focus on the main part how we can flash the micropython firmware inside our shao esp 32c3 board so first of all we have to erase the flash memory of this board to erase the flash memory i am going to use this command so i'll copy this and i'll paste it here okay now you will see com13 why i have used com13 so if you right click and go to device manager you can see ports okay and if you expand the ports you can see our device is connected to com13 so our seed studio shao esp32 c3 is connected via usb to my com port 13 so that is why i am going to use com13 here and we will erase the flash okay so we will hit enter to erase the flash so it is connecting and it is starting it, it is it has started erasing flash of this board you can see the led has stopped blinking okay so the flash memory of this board is completely erased so there is nothing inside the board there is no operating system or we can say there is no firmware inside this board now we need to flash the micropython firmware okay so to flash the micropython firmware we have to download the uh, micropython firmware from micropython website either you can directly download this binary file to use with okay so if you visit the site it will lead you to the micropython.org download esp32c3 and the usb so you have to download the first binary file so let me click on this so it will download here okay now we will copy this file on our desktop okay i have copied this file on our desktop and in the command prompt i'll navigate to desktop okay now which command we have to use to flash the micropython firmware inside this board okay so we are going to use this command so let me copy this one let me paste it here okay we are in the desktop and the binary file is available on the desktop so that is why i am not giving the full path of this binary file now again com13 because our device is connected to com13 now we will hit enter here and it will start flashing my device with micropython firmware okay so you can see writing and it is writing firmware inside this board okay we have successfully flashed our shao esp32c3 board with micropython firmware okay now let me press reset button here okay now we will go to our thony micropython id so let me type thony here okay so here is our thony so let me close this one 
and let me copy the LED blink code from our GitHub repository. So I'll paste the code here. Now you can see MicroPython ESP32 and COM13. Okay, so my device is connected to COM30 and I'm able to see here. Okay, and firmware is a MicroPython, so that is why it is here. Okay, and also you can see MicroPython version 1.20.0 and the module is ESP32C3 module with ESP32C3. Okay, now let me open the camera again. Okay, now we will use this code to flash this LED. So instead of LED, you have to write 10 because this LED is connected to D0 pin of my board. Okay, so that is why I have used 10 here instead of any other number. Okay, so if I run this script, you can see LED is flashing at interval of one second. So we have successfully flashed the MicroPython firmware inside the Seed Studio Shao ESP32 C3 board. Okay, so you can see LED is flashing here. Okay, so this is how you can flash the MicroPython firmware inside the Chow ESP32 C3 board. So if you have any doubts in this, you can ask me in the comment section. Also, you can ask me on the Instagram, Telegram or WhatsApp. And here is the process you can find on our website to flash the MicroPython firmware in Seed Studio Chow ESP32 C3, the smallest ESP32 board. So I hope everything is clear and if you still have any question concerns then you know where to ask. So we will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.